Hi there and welcome, I am The Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to do a bass guitar mix in Logic Pro X. Now we start off Logic today in our previously made drum mix program, we've unhidden the bass guitars and we've muted the rest of the mix but as you can see our drum mix was the last thing we did. We leveled all the drums, we put them onto a drum mix bus and sent the bus to the output instead. So the first thing we're gonna to do today is select our bass guitar. So select the first one and shift click the second one. So we want both of them. So one guitar is a DI'd guitar, which is a direct input guitar and the other one is a amp guitar. So we want to select them both. We want to go to the outputs of both whilst holding the option key and send it to bus 2. And we're going to first create the bass mix bus. Now this allows us to turn the volume of the bass guitars down and up depending on the mix and we also can clean or polish up the mix accordingly. So we're going to play the bass guitar now and we're just going to start mixing the first guitar. So we've muted the guitar too and we're just mixing the first guitar. So we're just going to put a quick DI, a bass boost EQ DI and we're going to stick with that for the time being and then put a quick compression on. Now I always use the, the built-in functionality so we can change it once you've got a desired sound you like. So we're just going to direct bass because that is the DI bass. Uh, we're going to have a quick listen through. Just adjust the volume slightly. And now we're going to do the other guitar. Same principle, we're going to put a quick EQ and a quick compression unit on it as well so I'm just going to use the same bass boost Ooh, should we go for a different one now we'll use same bass boost EQ and just turn the bass frequencies up a little bit and then we're going to put a quick compression on it dead simple we're just going to go to guitars and do bass light just to brighten up the guitars a little bit change the ratio, have a quick adjustment off the threshold and we're happy with that one so what we're going to do is quick level those two off, unmute them together so they sound quite good together. Just have a quick look at this bass mix now, we're just going to just brighten it up a little bit because the bass guitars are a little bit uh, a little bit heavy so we're just going to put a brighter bass functionality on it so we're just going to do EQs and add a bit of brightness um, and then we're going to put on the compression unit do the same if we can add a compression unit we'll tighten it all up we'll do that so a quick pump and then we're just going to turn the outputs down and the ratio and the threshold up. Lovely. So that's all the the bass together. We're now going to unmute all the drums and mix the drums in with the bass. Now, the drums and bass is only the kick and bass guitar which have slight similarities in frequency responses. So we're going to try to make sure we can hear the bass guitar and the bass drum at the same time. So we're doing a quick play from the beginning here. Here we go. So to me, the bass guitar is too loud. So we just adjust those. We turn the kick drum up to make sure we can hear it. And we will do an overall mix near the end of the session, but we want to make sure we can hear the instruments within this mix.
If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like rating and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.